Hi everyone, today we are going to solve the read code question implement stack using queues. So implement a lasting fast out stack using only two queues. The implemented stack should support all the functions of normal stack, push, top, pop, and empty. And uh, here is a definition of um, each function. And uh, we have actually follow-up questions. So follow-up question said um, implement a stack with only one queue. So I'll show you uh, two ways, like uh, two queues and one queue, um, to solve this question. OK, so let's write the code with two queues. So some function is very easy, no need to explain. So um, so I'll, um, I'll implement a simple function first. So first of all, self dot q q one equals. So we use a day queue, and uh, we need one more queue. So let's say q two, and uh, so push function is very simple. So self dot q one dot append and uh, x. So we always append data to so q one. Yeah, now uh, push function is finished and. Uh, uh, empty function also very simple. So this function is check whether um, Q1 has data or not. So that's why length of self dot Q1 equal zero, and that's it. So um, pop and the top is a little bit complicated. So let me explain uh, with uh, like a diagram or drawing the picture. OK, so let me explain with pop function and the top function. So this is a, a stack function. So usually um, stack, if we pop the data from stack, so we pop this last value, right? But uh, we implement stack with Q. So Q usually like a, a fast in and fast out. That means so this data is a fast popped data. So how how can we um, pop um, the last value as a fast uh, popped value in this case? So it's simple. Um, so we iterate through all data one by one in Q1 except last value. And then every time append the pop data to Q2. So that means so first one. So we popped one and append Q2 one. And then we uh, take a two and then append a two to Q2. So now uh, Q1 has only last value three. So in the case, we can uh, easily uh, pop last value uh, from Q1. So take a three. And uh, so this is uh, like a popped value. So uh, that's why uh, we should return three in this case. But before that, um, so in push function, um, we always um, push uh, append data to Q1, right? So I think it's a good idea um, before return, uh, we swapping Q1 and Q2 so that uh, uh, we can uh, easily uh, operate uh, uh, in other function, uh, especially like a push function. So in push function, we don't choose like a Q1 or Q2. Just we can choose only Q1 uh, because of this swapping. So yeah, three is a return value, and uh, now Q1 is empty, and uh, Q2 has so a uh, one, well uh, one two. So in this case, uh, just a uh, swapping Q1 and Q2. So that's why in the end. So let me change it here. So this empty list should be Q2, and. Uh, this one too is Q1, and uh, this is a pop a pop function. So three, uh, e, uh, three will disappear. So now Q1 has one two, and then when we execute push function, so new data is appended uh, in the last position. So let's say like a four. Yeah. So this is a pop function. Okay. So let me explain um, top function. So actually almost same as pop function. So first of all, uh, iterate through all numbers um, one by one except the last value, and uh, uh, take all values and uh, append to Q2. So now uh, take one and uh, append Q2, and then 
take a two append to q2. So now q1 has only three. So this is a, a return value, so like a top value. Um, but in this case, um, before uh, we return three, so take, so first of all, um, um, actually, uh, we copy the this three to a simple variable. So now um, simple variable has, so let's say top, top value equals three. And then, um, so this is a top function. So we have to keep uh, this three. So that's why uh, we uh, return uh, this value. So after copy uh, three to simple variable, uh, we uh, execute pop and uh, append three to q2, like a three. And then after that, um, as I explained earlier, so uh, we swap the q1 and the q2. So in the end, so this one should be q1 and then this one should be q2. So q1 has one, two, three, and the q2 has empty list. And then we should return this three. And then in like a push function, uh, we can um, append um, data to q1. So like a four, five, something like that. So we don't choose q1 or q2 in push function. Yeah, so that is a top function. So let's implement two functions. Okay, so let's implement a pop function first. So as I explained earlier, so while length of self dot q1 is greater than one, in that case, uh, self dot q2 dot append and uh, self dot q1 q1 dot pop left. So we take a uh, data from q1 and uh, append it to q2. And uh, after that, so Q1 has only one data. So that is a, a popped value, right? So popped, popped value, oops, value equal self dot Q1, Q1 dot pop left. And uh, after that, uh, so before return the popped value, so as I explained earlier, so swapping Q1 and Q2, so self dot Q1 and then self dot uh, q2 equal so let me copy this and uh, this should be q2 this should be q1 and then after that just return um, popped value so that is a pop function and uh, let's implement a, a top function so uh, we do the same thing so while so length of self dot q1 is greater than one. So in that case, self dot q2 dot append and uh, self dot q1 dot pop left. So after that, so let's uh, like a pick the last value. So bar, top bar equals self dot q1 and uh, so let's say zero. So after that, self dot q2 dot append and a self dot q1 oops q1 dot pop left so we have to keep the last value because this is a top function and then after that um, swapping q1 and q2 so self dot q1 and a self dot q2 equal so let me copy this and this should be q2 and this should be q1 and then after that, just return um, top bar. Yeah, that's it. So let me submit it. Yeah, looks good and a very efficient algorithm. And the time complexity of this solution should be, so push and empty functions are O1, and the pop and the top functions are order of N, because we iterate through all numbers except the last value. So that should be N minus one. So remove the constant number, so time complexity should be order of n. And the space complexity is uh, order of n, right? So that's simple. So 
Um, next, so I will implement a solution with one, only one cube. Okay, so let's write a solution with one cube. So self dot dot q equal to q, and the push function is a little bit complicated. So let's uh, implement other function first. So so pop function is very easy. Just return uh, self dot q dot uh, pop left. So we pop the the we pop first value and then return. That's it. And the uh, top, so almost same, dot self dot q. And uh, we don't have to take the value, so just pick the first value, and so that's why zero. And that's it. So empty should be same as um, like a two q. So length of self dot q equals zero. And that's it. And uh, let's implement the push function. So First of all, uh, append the uh, uh, input data to q. So self dot q dot uh, append and uh, x. So um, now, so let's see the other function. So pop function uh, pop the first value and the return, and the top function pick the first value and the return. So this x value should be the first value in the queue. So that's why we rearrange the values, uh, order of values. So how can we do that? So we use a for loop and in range. And the uh, range should be length of self dot q um, minus 1. So except um, last value. So we don't have uh, another queue, right? So that's why uh, we need to append the same queue dot append and then um, take the value from the uh, beginning one by one. So self dot q dot pop left so that we can uh, rearrange order of values, right? So last value should be first value uh, with this for loop. So that's why we can easily execute um, pop function or top function. Yeah, that's it. So let me submit it. Yeah, looks good and a very efficient algorithm. And the time complexity of this solution should be so pop, top, and empty functions are O1, and the push is ON. So very simple. And the space also order of N. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.